What's up, YouTube? It's your man, Big B Production 100. I have a great video for you guys today. Now, I'm sorry for the short delay of the videos, but I've been working a lot like crazy. But I have an awesome video for you. Like I said, in this video, I have not one, not two, but three tips for you. If you are a Mac user, I'm thinking you should probably love this video. So let's begin. The first tip I want to show you guys is a quick tip of how you can change the date and time in your menu bar. A lot of people may not know this. Some people like to just go through system preferences, but it's a much faster and easier way to just change the date and the month of your computer menu bar at the top. So if you just click on it, you'll see that if you scroll down, you'll see open date and time preferences like so you can just click there. And then from here, you can just change the date options to show date or you can just, you know, select what you like. So again, this is for like more of like a new Mac user. If you're new to Mac and you don't know how to do this type of stuff, of course, we all know that Max doesn't come with manuals, so that's why I'm here for you. So again, if you're a new Mac user, you know, you can look at this video and you might find some cool tips that you can use. Or let's just say if you've been using Mac for quite some time now and you probably forgot that you can do this. So that's another way you can do it. Or you can always just, of course, do the commands and open up system preferences. And then from there, like so, you can just go to the date and time. But that takes too long to do the same thing. So you can just choose show date like so, and you'll see that today is Sunday, June 29th, and the time is 2.03 p.m. Okay, that is the first tip. The next tip that I have for you guys is, when you're inside Safari, normally you wanna clear out your history and all of that good stuff, which is always good to clear out your history so that Safari would stay fast and functioning properly. To do so, you know you can always go up to history and just you know clear out your searches from there, as far as earlier today, clear and all of that good stuff. But what a lot of people that I've come to see do not notice or realize that if you're inside your search engine here and if you just click on the search bar like so, and if you just click there for a second, before let's just say, okay, you want to start a, you know, search or something like that. Let's just say we're going to go to Walmart for a second. Now, if I come here and if I delete Walmart like so, if I come down, you see you can clear recent searches from that day of, of course, you know, you search in the web, you can just clear it like so. And we can always go here and do the clear history as well. And you can also do the show history like so and just clear out everything. So that is a cool tip that I thought I'd show with you guys as well. Again, if you're new to Mac, you know, just trying to show you some cool, quick tips that you can use on a daily. And the last tip that I have for you guys, which I think is my favorite here. I'm going to show you this is going to be calls for the use of preview. Now I'm just going to grab an image here that I have like so and I'm going to right click and then I'm going to do an open with preview as default. Now once I have this open, if you're a person that likes to take a lot of photos like myself, this is just my beautiful home here that I have in Miami, Florida. I'm just going to show you how you can crop this no it was a joke this is not my home i wish it was <laughs> but i'm going to show you guys how you can crop photos inside preview a fast way you can just click on the editor toolbar here like so I mean, you can just get your rectangular selection here select that make sure it's highlighted select it then after that you can just crop what you want to crop like so so we're just going to crop that about here and then just choose crop like so and it's cropped from there, you don't have to do a save or anything. You can just close preview down like so and quit it. And if you go back to your downloads folder, if you click on the photo that you just cropped, you'll see that the selection has already been cropped for you and saved in that precise location. So I hope you guys found this video very informative. If so, please rate, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. I appreciate it. And stay tuned for my next video because I will be doing a new giveaway. Just hit a thousand subscribers. So I want to say thank you to all of the people that helped me reach a thousand subscribers. And I would be doing this giveaway sometime next week. This may be an iPod touch or an iPhone. So just stay tuned. And I'm sorry if I'm talking kind of sluggish right now because I've been doing 12 hour shifts six days a week. So again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in, for checking out my videos and subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you next week. I'll let you.